Locals have whispered legends about Jacob's Well for generations, calling it a portal to the underworld. Most people brush these off as campfire stories to scare tourists. That was until a drone went down there and captured high-definition scans of the virgin caves, areas untouched by man. The footage revealed narrow tunnels that defy the laws of geology and frightening evidence of the well's violent history. Jacob's Well looks a lot different these days. Jacob's Well has not been open for nearly a year. Jacob's Well, a popular swimming hole near Wimberley, will remain closed to swimmers for the foreseeable future. What the AI detected in the darkness has turned those local legends into a terrifying scientific reality. The bottom of the well is not what we thought it was. The Descent Jacob's Well in Wimberley, Texas, sits quietly under the hot sun, looking like the perfect place to cool off. It is a 12-foot opening of pure turquoise water that seems to glow from within. For decades, people have jumped into this spring, enjoying the cool relief of the Cypress Creek water source. But underneath that peaceful blue surface, there is a nightmare waiting. Recently, a team decided that human eyes were missing too much detail in the dangerous depths. They deployed a high-tech underwater drone equipped with artificial intelligence to scan the well. The goal was simple, they wanted to map the entire system and see what was hiding in the shadows. But here is the catch. The drone was not just taking pictures, it was analyzing the rock, the water pressure, and the flow rates in real time. As the machine descended past the first 30 feet, the sunlight began to fade. The blue water turned to a murky gray. The drone's lights flickered on, cutting through the darkness. At first, everything looked normal. It saw the algae, the limestone walls, and the narrow opening that leads to the main cave system. But then, the sensors picked up something strange. The data stream spiked. The drone had detected a massive void that did not match the old maps from the year 2000. It is not that simple, though. The well is not just a hole. It is a complex system of chambers. As the drone pushed deeper, past the 60-foot mark, the footage became grainy. The silt in the water, which is like fine dust, started to swirl around the camera. This is what divers call a silt-out, and it is usually a death sentence for a human. If a diver kicks up this silt, they lose all visibility instantly. They cannot tell up from down, but the drone used its sonar to see through the cloud, and what it saw on the other side was terrifying. The walls of the cave were not smooth. They were jagged and looked like they had been clawed out by something massive. The AI highlighted these markings as anomalies. It was almost as if the water itself was eating away the foundation of the earth faster than anyone predicted. The footage showed rocks hanging by a thread, ready to crush anything that passed beneath them. This was the first sign that Jacob's well was unstable. But the drone kept going. It was programmed to reach the bottom, a place that has claimed the lives of expert divers. Yeah, about that. The drone approached a section known as the chimney. This is a tight, vertical tunnel that drops straight down. It is the gateway to the deeper, deadlier parts of the cave. As the drone descended, the temperature of the water dropped drastically. The sensors screamed a warning. The water here was ancient, coming from the deep Edwards Aquifer. The drone captured images of a dark, endless black hole at the bottom of the chimney. It looked like an eye staring back at the surface. This is where the real mystery begins. The drone was about to enter the Forbidden Zone, an area where rescue teams usually have to recover bodies, not data. The crazy part is the silence. The audio sensors on the drone picked up a low, rhythmic thumping sound. It was not mechanical. It sounded like a heartbeat. Scientists analyzing the footage later realized it was the pressure of the aquifer pushing water up, pulsing like a living vein. This place was alive in a geological sense. The drone moved forward, its lights illuminating things that had been hidden in the dark for centuries. It was a mesmerizing and scary sight. But just as the drone prepared to enter the first major chamber, the signal glitched. The screen went black for a second. When the image came back, the drone was facing a wall that looked entirely different from the rest of the cave. The drone found a blockage, a massive pile of debris that shouldn't be there. It looked like gravel, but the AI identified it as something else. It was shifting. The floor of the cave was moving. This was not just a static hole in the ground. It was a shifting landscape of loose rock and silt. One wrong move, and the whole tunnel could seal itself shut. The scientists watching the feed realized that the maps they had been using were wrong. 
The cave had changed, and if a human had been down there relying on those old maps, they would never have made it out. The drone's camera suddenly focused on a shiny object half buried in the shifting gravel. Narrow squeeze. The shiny object was not a rock. As the drone zoomed in, the shape became clear. It was a piece of a diving tank, old and corroded. It was a grim reminder of the history of Jacob's well. This section of the script brings us into the restricted chambers. You see, the well is divided into four main chambers. The first one is reachable by recreational divers, but beyond that, it gets tight. The drone was now entering chamber two. This room is located about 100 feet down. It is a funnel-shaped trap. The entrance is small, but the exit is even smaller. And get this, the connection between Chamber 2 and Chamber 3 is a tiny opening filled with loose gravel. Divers have to be incredibly careful here. If they touch the gravel, it slides down and blocks the way out. The drone, being a machine, could hover without touching the sides. It glided through the narrow gap, scanning every inch. The footage showed deep scratches on the limestone. These were marks left by tanks and fins of divers who had panicked in the tight squeeze. The AI reconstructed the path, showing just how impossible it would be for a panicked human to navigate this in zero visibility. What most people don't realize is that the water inside these chambers is deceptive. It looks clear until it isn't. The drone's powerful lights revealed thick layers of silt on the floor. This silt is centuries of dust and organic matter. When the drone's propellers spun too fast, a cloud erupted, blinding the camera for a moment. This demonstrated exactly how dangerous the environment is. In a panic situation, a diver would thrash around, creating a brownout. They would be swimming blind in a stone coffin. The drone switched to sonar mode again to find the walls. The scan of Chamber 3 revealed something even more disturbing. The floor of this chamber is covered in unstable gravel and silt. But the drone's sub-bottom profiler, which looks beneath the dirt, saw voids underneath the floor. The terrifying realization was that the floor of Chamber 3 is essentially a false bottom. It is a thin layer of rock and debris holding back an even deeper abyss. If that floor were to give way, anything in the chamber would be sucked down into the uncharted depths of the aquifer. Scientists were horrified to see just how fragile this section was. So, here's the deal. The drone was now 120 feet down. The pressure was immense. It moved towards the final known room, Chamber 4. This is the end of the line for most explorers. To get here, you have to squeeze through a passage so tight that divers have to take off their tanks and push them ahead of them. This is called the Virgin Passage because so few people have seen it. The drone, sleek and small, managed to slip through. The footage from Chamber 4 was unlike anything seen before. The walls here were white limestone, pristine and untouched. But on the floor, the drone spotted strange formations. They looked like bones. The AI analyzed the shapes. They were not human, but animal remains. Deer, raccoons, and other creatures that had fallen in and drowned, their bodies preserved in the cold, dark water. It was a graveyard, but among the animal remains, the drone picked up something else. A flow of water coming from a crack in the wall. This crack was not on any map. It suggested a fifth chamber, or perhaps a massive underground river that feeds the well. Basically, this discovery changes the game. If there is a fifth chamber, it means the well is much deeper than 137 feet. It could go on for miles. The drone tried to approach the crack, but the current was too strong. The water was blasting out of the hole with incredible force. This was the source, the heart of the spring. The AI calculated the flow rate and determined that the pressure behind that crack was massive. It was like a fire hose. No human could swim against it. The footage left the scientists with a chilling thought. If the water flow ever stopped or reversed, that crack would open up, and anyone in Chamber 4 would be pulled into the earth. The drone held its position, fighting the current. It captured high-resolution textures of the rock. It was brittle. The sheer force of the water was slowly eroding the walls of the final chamber. The well is eating itself from the inside out. The drone turned around to leave, but the exit passage had disappeared behind a wall of dust. Buried secrets. The drone was momentarily blinded, trapped in a silt cloud it had created. This brings us to the tragic history that haunts Jacob's well. The fear scientists felt watching the footage wasn't just about rocks. It was about the memories trapped down there. 
The drone's situation mirrored the exact scenario that killed two young men from Fort Worth in 1979. They were caught in the same chamber, unable to find the exit in the silt. The drone switched to thermal imaging, finding the temperature difference of the exit tunnel. It navigated out, but the moment was a stark reminder of the well's toll. Everyone's obsessed with the beauty of the well, but few know about the restrictive grate that was installed years ago. The drone scanned the remnants of this grate. It had been cut open. Over the years, adrenaline junkies had removed safety barriers to go deeper. The drone scan showed the jagged metal edges of the old grate. It was a symbol of how the well lures people in. The footage seemed to carry a heavy weight, a sense of sorrow. The AI highlighted these metal artifacts as foreign objects. But we know they are signs of broken rules and lost lives. And that's putting it lightly. The drone moved back up to the wider sections, analyzing the chimney effect. It found that the shape of the well creates a visual illusion. When looking up from the bottom, the light from the surface looks closer than it actually is. This is a deadly trick. Divers think they are almost out, so they relax or exhale too much air, losing buoyancy. The drone's depth sensors prove that the light penetrates deep, confusing the perception of distance. This data terrified the psychologists on the team. The well is naturally designed to trick the human brain. But here is the scary part about the data. The drone mapped the sediment layers on the walls. It found distinct lines that show the water levels over history. These lines tell a story of drought and flood, but recent lines showed something alarming. The water level is dropping faster than ever before. The aquifer is drying up. The terror for the scientists was not just the cave itself, but what the cave represents for the future. If Jacob's well runs dry, it means the water source for thousands of people is dying. The drone was documenting the death of a natural wonder. The drone also found evidence of false exits. These are alcoves in the rock that look like tunnels, but end abruptly. In a panic, a diver might swim into one of these, thinking it is the way out, only to hit a solid wall. The drone investigated three of these false exits in Chamber 2. They were lined with scratch marks. It was a heartbreaking detail. The AI mapped these dead ends, creating a danger map that shows just how confusing the geometry of the cave is. It is a maze designed by nature to trap the unaware. It's not just a hole in the ground. The scan revealed that the limestone is full of pores, like a sponge. This means the water is not just coming from the bottom. It is seeping in from the sides. This porous rock is weak. The drone detected vibrations in the walls caused by trucks driving on the roads miles away. The entire structure is sensitive to the outside world. A heavy rain or a minor earthquake could cause a collapse in the upper chambers, sealing the well forever. The drone ascended slowly, passing the point where most sunlight fades. It was carrying gigabytes of data that proved Jacob's well is more hostile and fragile than anyone imagined. But as it neared the surface, the sensors picked up one last anomaly. It was near the opening, just 30 feet down, a shadow that did not move with the current. The AI flagged it as a biological density. The shadow moved rapidly across the screen, disappearing into a crack too small for the drone. The final map. The shadow was likely a large eel or a fish, but the speed at which it moved startled the team. Jacob's Well is home to unique aquatic life, but the drone's main mission was geology, not biology. The final analysis of the drone's data is where the true horror sets in for the scientific community. The 3D map created by the AI showed that the main cavern is tilting. The entire geological formation is shifting slightly due to the depletion of the aquifer. The pillars of rock holding up the roof of the lower chambers are cracking. Get this! The drone's high-definition macro lens captured microfractures in the limestone in Chamber 1. This is the area where tourists used to freedive. These fractures are spreading. The footage suggests that a massive rockfall is inevitable. It might happen tomorrow or in 10 years, but the structural integrity of the well is compromised. This is why the footage left scientists terrified. It wasn't a monster, it was the math. The physics of the cave are failing. What most people don't realize is that the water pressure acts as a support for the walls. As the water level drops due to drought and overpumping of the aquifer, that support vanishes. The walls are holding up millions of tons of earth with less and less help from the water. The drone simulation predicted a catastrophic subsidence event. In simple terms, the ground above the well could sink. 
The beautiful swimming hole could become a sinkhole, swallowing everything around it. So, here's the deal with the infinite tunnel. Remember the crack in Chamber 4, the drone's sonar data suggests that the tunnel behind it connects to a massive, unmapped reservoir. This reservoir is deep underground, part of the Trinity Aquifer system. The drone discovered that the water mixing here is chemically different from the surface water. This means the well is a mixing pot of ancient waters. If this balance is disturbed, it could poison the local water supply. The drone essentially found a plumbing disaster waiting to happen. The scientists compared the drone's footage to scans from 10 years ago. The difference was shocking. The cave is getting larger in some places due to erosion and smaller in others due to silt buildup. It is a dynamic, changing environment. The static maps used by divers are dangerous because they are outdated the moment they are drawn. The drone proved that you cannot trust the cave. It changes its layout. A tunnel that was open last year might be blocked today. Basically, the AI drone painted a picture of a hostile alien world right in our backyard. It showed us that the beauty of Jacob's Well is a mask. Behind the blue water is a crumbling, shifting, pressurized death trap that is slowly collapsing on itself. The footage is a warning. It tells us that our impact on the water table is destroying the very foundation of this natural wonder. The fear isn't about ghosts or myths. It is about the reality of losing this landmark and the danger it poses to anyone foolish enough to underestimate it. The final data packet revealed a hollow space directly under the viewing platform on the surface. Nature's Trap The final discovery of a void under the viewing platform was the last straw. It confirmed that Jacob's Well is not just a deep hole, it is a sprawling network of weakness in the Earth's crust. The drone surfaced, breaking the blue water, bringing back the most detailed and frightening survey of the well ever made. The footage has since been analyzed by geologists, hydrologists, and cave experts. Their consensus is unanimous. The well is far more dangerous than we thought. It's not that simple to just fill it in or close it down. The well is a vital pressure release valve for the aquifer. If we mess with it, the water will find another way out, likely causing flooding or new sinkholes elsewhere. The drone showed us that we are at the mercy of this system. The terror described in the headlines is the realization of our own helplessness against the power of geology. Yeah, about that portal theory. While the drone didn't find a literal gate to hell, it found a path that leads to certain death for humans. In a way, the legends were right. It is a place where the surface world ends and the dark, indifferent underground begins. The drone acted as our eyes, seeing the things we are too fragile to see. It showed us the animal bones, the lost equipment, and the crumbling walls. It showed us that nature is beautiful, but it is not our friend. The crazy part is that people still want to dive there. Despite the warnings, despite the deaths, and now, despite this terrifying drone footage, there is something about the mystery that calls to us. But the science is clear. The well is closing up. The silt is rising. The walls are cracking. The window to explore Jacob's well is shutting. The drone might be the last explorer to ever see the bottom of Chamber 4. What most people don't realize is that the true mystery isn't how deep it goes, but how long it will last. The footage is a time capsule of a dying giant. It serves as a reminder that some places on Earth are best left alone, observed only by machines that don't need to breathe. The terrified scientists are not scared of monsters, they are scared of the silence that will follow when the well finally collapses. So after seeing what the drone found in the darkness, would you still dare to jump into Jacob's well? Or is it time we leave this underwater mystery alone for good? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit that like button and subscribe for more terrifying discoveries.